How's it going everyone? This is Darwin from the Builder Lab. And today I'll be showing off my DIY 3D printer. So this is an iteration of Steve by Adam at Vector 3D. So big thanks to you, Adam. Thank you so much. I definitely couldn't, couldn't have done it without this design. Um, although I did butcher it a little bit as you'll come to see. So I'm going to be briefly showing off a lot of the components and different things that I've changed to this printer. Um, I've added linear rails and an extra lead screw for the bed. Um, and I've also had to make some compromises with certain materials that I've had, like I've shrunk the bed from 265 to 235 just because I had the Ender 3 bed on hand and I spend the extra money, right? So we'll go through this and yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments and I will definitely answer them. So stay tuned. So this is the gantry. Uh, it's a little bit different than what Adam designed. Uh, on the bottom, I'm still using one of the steel rods and the cylinder bearings. I can't remember what they're called. But on the top, I decided to swap it out for a, a linear rail. And that required changing up the uh, connector parts a little bit. But not too bad. If, yeah, it they're not even really screwed in. Yeah, I don't know. This thing's a little jank, but I like it. It's definitely... The one that I'm designed is definitely better. But I like to screw around and... Hey, it works. If it works, it works, right? So I just want to shout out E3D here. I've been using them for <laughs> so long. And obviously E3D doesn't need a shout out. But... Uh, I love their hot ends, hot ends, cold ends, everything. I've, I've loved the V6 since the beginning. So I'm running the Revo on this one with the Obsidian 0.6 millimeter nozzle. And I can't say any, any bad things about it, like at all. I love it. Actually, I can say one bad thing. <laughs> and this thing is so fucking loud. So loud. So that's going to be a Noctua. I've already mocked up everything. It just needs to go on. But it's a little bit... It conflicts with this part. So, again, redesign part. But not a big deal. On the original Steve, Adam is using only two lead screws. But... I was having an issue with one of the sides like dipping by two to three millimeters. So I ended up going for a tri-lead screw design and two linear rails on the back. So kind of a cantilever, but uh, the two in the front are really holding up most of the bed. And I've gotten everything down to, oh, I'd say within a millimeter of flat on each side now so this is definitely a good solution in my books but I don't think I'm gonna keep this the same the rat rig uh, 3d printer has a really cool try leveling design and I I want to try that out so that I think I might modify that into this but that will definitely be in the future so one of the things that differs from me and Adam's bed is this one is 235 off a Ender 3 and that's mostly just because I couldn't find a 265 millimeter bed. For the life of me, I could not find one. So I ended up just modifying the base with some extra 2020 and it's a little skewed but it uh, works with skew correction and... I've been getting some good prints off of it, so 
Bed is a little small, could be bigger, but works for my needs. All right, so this is the control board and it's a BTT Octopus Pro V1.1 and great board, nothing bad to say. I really like it. There's a lot of configurability about it. A um, lot of fan ports, a lot of end stop ports, like what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drivers. So this thing's a great board. Highly recommend. And uh, it's running off the BTT Pi running clipper. And yeah, so this is my DIY 3D printer. So, after recording all of this, I kind of came up with a name for this. Now, the original is Steve, so I kind of think I should stick with a human name. So, I think we're going to call it Frank, because it's quite a Frankenstein from the original, and it's what I named my old printer after I took it apart a bunch of times, and... It was barely an under three at the end, so let's call it Frank. Or if you guys have any better name, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. But uh, yeah, that'll be it on the showcase of Frank, or To Be Determined. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys like the video, and more to come, hopefully. Have a great day. I'm out.